What's up everyone and welcome to Sketch Saturday. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of King Kong. Now we're gonna get started in the center of our page and sketch a large circle to define the size of the head. Now we're gonna use a side grip of our 4B pencil. Starting from the very top, we're just gonna lightly work our way around the left side. So we'll go out, down, and then in towards the middle. We can always go back and just readjust the shape of our circle. And we'll just go around the right side. We're just going in very lightly because we're eventually going to be racing this circle out. And then from here we're going to add some guidelines. Let's start with a straight line coming down the center of our circle, starting from the very top. Come all the way down towards the bottom of our page. And then back up towards the top. I'm also going to add a guideline on the side of our circle. So up against the edge, it's going to go up towards the top and then down. And now we're going to add a guideline going across the center of our circle from left to right. Let's start right in the middle, go out towards the left and through the center towards the right. And we'll add another guideline along the top and bottom of that circle. Now we're going to move in and start blocking out the brow, leaving a small gap in the center. Let's go to the left side, we're going to curve up and then out. Go to the right side and curve in the opposite direction. And I'll draw the lower edge of the brow. Starting back on the left, we're just going to curve this up and then out towards the side. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to tuck the pupils underneath the brow. Let's start over on the left side. We're going to draw a half circle coming down and then up. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. Let's round out the edge of the brow. On the left side, we're just going to curve around and in. And then from the outside, we're going to curve in and up underneath the brow on the inside. Let's move down and add some shape to the nose. We're going to line up with the outside of the pupil, step down, we're just going to curve up, and then back down on the right side. Let's round out the edge of the nose, just pulling that around. And we'll draw two straight angle lines coming down and in towards the middle. And now we're going to draw the inside of the nostril. On that bottom point, we're going to step up, sketch a line going up and out toward the left and right side. Draw a short angle line coming down the side. And then from here, it's going to curve down and then in towards the middle, towards that bottom point. Now from here we're going to work our way down towards the edge of the mouth. Let's start underneath the nose on the left side and curve this out and then down towards that bottom line. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. And we'll connect the bottom with a half circle. Coming down the middle, rounding this out and then going back up. Let's add a curve for the edge of the mouth. We're going to start over on the left side and curve up in the middle and then bend that back down towards the right. Let's move back out to the side of the circle and draw on the cheeks. We're going to start on the left side, curve this down, and then in towards the bottom edge of the nose. And we'll do the same thing on the right. And then from the bottom of the cheek, we're going to come down, and then just bend that in towards the corners of the mouth. Now we're going to move back out to the side and define the top edge of the brow. So starting on the left, we're going to curve this up, go across the middle, and then back down on the right. Let's draw on the top of the head. We're going to go back to the left side, we're going to draw a half oval. Go a little bit higher in the middle, round up the head, and then come back down on the right side. And we'll slope the side of the neck coming down towards the base of the shoulder. Let's start from the side of the head. I'm going to angle this down and out. Go over towards the right. Do the same thing, coming down towards the same height. And then halfway between that center line and the bottom, I'm just going to curve the jaw, coming down and then in towards the corner of the mouth.
Let's draw the top edge of the shoulders. We're gonna line up at the bottom of the nose, step out towards the side of the neck, draw a straight angle line coming down and out. Now we're gonna add the small ears on the side of the head. From that center line, we're gonna step up, go out, down, and then in towards the side of the head. Now that we've blocked in the general proportions of our drawing, we're gonna go back in and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now we're going to go in and add a second level of detail. Let's start by defining the top edge of the brow. Starting from the side of the eye, we're going to draw a short line going out toward the left and right side. And then from the ends, we're going to curve up and then in towards that top curve. And then we'll bend the brow coming down in the middle. Let's start on the top left. We curve this down and then back up. Let's go back to the top of the nose in the center, go over towards the left, curve in and then down towards the middle, and do the same thing on the right. Let's go in with the side edge of our pencil and lightly shade the bottom edge of the brow, starting from the left. Just gonna lightly shade this in, just above the eyelid. Go across the center, and then over towards the right side. We're also going to lightly shade in the inside of the nostrils. And now we're going to go in with the tip of our pencil and start adding some details starting with the eyes. Let's start on the left side. It's going to define the brow. Just adding that crease going up and out. And do the same thing on the right. Let's connect the inside with the curve, going up and then down. Let's add a few more folds along the inside of the brow. I'm just going in and adding some more wrinkles along the inside of the eyes. I'm just going back in and just darkening up the bottom edge of the brow. And we'll just fade that out as we go up.
and I'm just working my way around the perimeter of the nose. Adding a little bit of shadow along the bottom edge, which will help us create a highlight along the top of the nose. And with the cheekbones, I'm just adding a shadow across the bottom edge, just to give it a little bit of roundness. I also want to show that the mouth is curved along the bottom. So I'm just going to add a shadow along the bottom edge, just up above the mouth. And just lightly fade that out as we go. You can also add a few wrinkles along the top. We're just blending into some fur across the bottom of the chin. So just starting at the bottom, just pulling this up. So just fading it out as you go up towards the top. Just 
darkening out that center area underneath the lip. And you can see that I'm working with the flow of the fur, going up and down with the vertical motion. Now I'm just going back in with the tip of my pencil, just refining the fur. Again, just pulling the pencil up and just fading that out. I'm using that same technique along the jawline to create that fur. So starting along that bottom edge and just hooking that up, just pulling up and in. And then going from the cheeks and pulling the hair down. Now I'm going back and just defining the edge of the fur around the brow, starting in the center, and just pulling the fur going out towards the sides. See that I'm starting to blend the fur going out towards the side of the cheeks. Starting to go a little bit higher as we work our way up towards the top of the head. And I'm just going to blend this down. Now just going back in just to find the edge of the fur using the tip of our pencil.
We're just going back and darkening up that shadow just underneath the head. Just cast above the shoulders and the neck area. This is actually going to pull the head forward in our drawing. I'm also casting the shadow slightly over towards the right side. And I'm going back into finding the edge of the ears. And as we get closer to the end of our drawing, I'm going to darken up the shadow and contrast around the eyes and also add a little bit more detail around the mouth. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of King Kong. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.